Uh, all right, so here is my first ever mining rig. So I built this one yesterday and uh, actually put a story on my Instagram and I kept receiving like tons of messages uh, you know from people asking me more details about this so so I decided I just to make a video on it. Let me start with the graphic cards the most important things in a mining rig. Uh, I'm actually mining ethereum uh, with this rig so yeah okay so the first graphic card is uh, this white one over here and if you could recognize it already it's a RTX 3060 it's a Zodiac gaming RTX 3060 and I think you all know uh, uh, the current state of GPU prices they are like so so high the prices have just like skyrocketed they're in like the all-time high so I got this 3060 for uh, around 67,000 rupees which is a lot yeah i think the msrp is around like forty-eight thousand with gst or something but i got it for sixty-seven thousand with gst of course including gst i mean uh so yeah it's it, it's it's very expensive but i don't think the graphic card prices are going to go down anytime soon so i just took the risk and i bought everything like uh, all the other cards as well i bought it for i think most of them i even bought it for double the msrp but yeah i just took a leap of faith here i i, I wish I, I mean i hope i will be able to like get my return on return on investment pretty soon but we'll see about that and the second graphic card is the rtx 2060 uh by the way i'm sorry if the quality is not really good i'm recording it with my gopro and i really don't know the settings of gopro i've, I've never used it like that much before so apologize for that so rtx 2060 i got this for around forty-seven thousand. all these cards by the way i bought it online i did not go to any offline store i ordered them all from online and the rtx 2060 it, it i bought it for forty-eight thousand, forty-seven thousand actually and then coming to these three cards all these three cards are the 1660 supers the first card over here this red one uh, as you could see it's the GeForce GTX 1660 Super it's a colorful variant uh, and I got this for 50,000 and with this is like literally a lot these 1660 Supers are you know they are their price is very much um, elevated as compared to their MSRPs all these three cards all these 1660 Supers I bought it bought them for 50,000 each so 50,000 50,000 50,000 1 lakh 50,000 in total uh, this one is a colorful uh, 1660 super this one these both are actually the same variants they are the asus tough gaming 1660 supers uh, three guys the same price uh, once again i bought all of these online and now what's the next thing the processor so the processor that i'm using in this rig is the intel pentium g4560 and it is i think it has like two cores uh, 3.5 gigahertz um, it's not really a high-end processor uh, but that's okay because we are mining with our gpus not with the cpu so that will do i got the processor for around 7000 this one i bought it in the offline market because i was not able to find uh, the uh, this particular cpu in the online market so i managed to get it from an offline store in my city uh, and i paid 7000 for it which I think is still expensive uh, considering it's not an high-end CPU. I definitely bought it uh, above MSRP, but I guess that's how like the, comp uh, the hardware components are right now. The prices are very much ele elevated. So that's about the CPU. And then the motherboard. The motherboard is the ASRock H170 Pro 4 D3. Now, uh, I bought this for around 7,500. 8000 7500 to 8000 i don't really exactly remember the price let's let's say 8000 okay so this i bought it for 8000 and it has six pcie slots sorry five pcie slots as you can see i've attached five graphic cards so it makes sense two of them are the x16 slots so that's why i had to attach these through these two graphic cards to the motherboard itself and the rest of these three i attach i'm actually using a riser three risers if you can see uh this is uh, actually a 16x to 1x riser so uh, here i'm uh, here there is a 16x slot and i'm connecting that uh, to the motherboard using the 1x 
slot. So that's how I attached or connected five graphic cards to my motherboard. And then the RAM, it's a, it's a Corsair Vengeance 8GB DDR3 RAM. Now this motherboard, it's, it's, a, it's a relatively older motherboard. What I mean is that this is an old model and it only supports DDR3 RAM. It doesn't support DDR4 RAM. So that's why I had to like purchase a DDR3 RAM. Uh, I think I paid like uh, 3,500 rupees for this uh, 8GB RAM. And now coming to the SSD, this is the uh, Kingston 240GB SSD. I actually don't remember the price of it. Uh, I think I paid around like 4,500, somewhere in between 4,000 to 5,500. Uh, that's the price of the SSD. Finally, coming to the power supply. So obviously the power supply is very important. I have to make sure that all my cards, all the components that I used in the rig are getting enough power. So I have to choose a good power supply uh, that would satisfy the need. So I bought two 650 watts uh, power supplies. The model of this is uh, Cooler Master MWE 650 watts. So I bought two of them. The reason I bought two of them is because, well, I could have just bought a 1000 watt power supply instead of like uh, buying two 650 watts, but uh, the 1000 watt is around like 20 to 23,000 in the market and guess what I got these two 650 watts power supplies for only 14,000 the total that these both power supplies together can give is 1300 watts and I managed to get it for 14,000 rupees whereas the thousand watts the single thousand watts power supply is available for 25,000 which is insane insanely high so I decided to just buy these both because it's saving me like um, seven, eight thousand, and I'm also getting like extra 300 watts. So that's that's a good thing, I guess. Um, I still think that uh, compared to all the other parts in this rig, I think I got the best deal for these power supplies. I bought these from Prime ABGB, by the way. So what else? Oh, and these wires. Uh, these wires are actually like uh, the splitters. They don't come with the graphic cards or the power supplies. I bought them uh, separately from Amazon. Uh, I bought a pack of six such wires and it costed me 2100 rupees I guess for all those six wires and also I did not mention the price of the uh, GPU risers. Um, so I bought a pack of six GPU risers and it costed me 4100 rupees something around that and yes i think that's all that's all for that and yeah there's one more tiny component that i did not show and it's not also visible let me try to show it to you so if you can see on the back of this 3060 there is a dummy uh, hdmi plug this is a dummy hdmi plug which means it's just a dummy plug uh, the reason why i have to uh, buy that is because if you are into mining you would have known that 3060 comes with uh, restrictions for ethereum mining which means you can't mine at full potential with the rtx 3060 in order to bypass that you would need to do some certain things and among those certain things uh, one of the thing is that the rtx 3060 should always uh, have a display port attached to it otherwise it won't work for mining now i can uh, continuously give it a display output by connecting it to my monitor but then i would be like like i don't need a monitor for this and i'll show you why i don't need it so that's why i bought a dummy plug and i inserted it to the hdmi port so in this way the 3060 has a display output but it's just a dummy plug so so i bought a set of two dummy plugs and it costed me um thousand not thousand i'll have to check that in my amazon recent orders but uh, i'll make sure to put the cost on the video and also in the description below so you can check out if you want the exact price and the total cost of this bill okay so i guess that's it that's the total components i used and finally uh the case so this is an aluminium case uh, and I got it made. I did not buy a pre-built case from Amazon or somewhere else. I, I, I got it done actually. And if you want to get it done, it would like uh, cost you, um, I don't know, like it, it should cost you no more than 2000 rupees. This is a pretty big case and you could fit like uh, four plus three, uh, four plus five, nine GPUs easily. And it would cost you no more than 2000 rupees if you 
if you like buy the material and get it done and you could even make it in home it's not a big deal you could even make it from wood actually the base is actually made of wood and i would suggest you to make it from wood because wood as you know is a bad conductor of electricity and the funny thing is when i first built this rig and when i when i first turned it on i got an electric shock from the uh, metal because since this is aluminium it conducts electricity so i got a small electric shock and then i figured out that there was some power leak somewhere and that's why i was using this foam as you could see and also while attaching it, uh, these graphic cards to the uh, aluminium i am making sure that i put uh, paper in between because the nuts are also made from iron or steel something uh, the thing is they are, they all are good conductors of, of, of electricity so uh, I'm guessing there was a power leak somewhere and I'm getting like not a big electric shock but a small electric shock but now it's fixed uh, everything is fine so that's all about the rig itself and uh, let me now go switch to my screen and let's talk all about um, how much it can perform in mining ethereum and how I set up my software part of this so now I'm on my primary PC this is the PC that I use this is my workstation or whatever you'd like to call it. so as I shown you uh, the mining rig does not have a display it does not have a monitor so then how do I access it then how do I uh, change stuff or how do I set it up good question so I'm using a uh, Google remote desktop to do this actually this is basically like team viewer but it's I think it's better than team viewer and it suits my needs perfectly here so as long as my mining rig has connection to internet which it always does I will be able to access it remotely from wherever I am I just have to log into my Google account and that's it so if I click on it it's going to remotely connect to my mining rig and there you go I am able to now see the screen remotely so yeah that's cool it completely eliminated the need for a separate display or a separate monitor for the mining rig. So I am actually using T-Rex miner to mine Ethereum and I am actually mining it with Ethermine. Ethermine is a, is a famous Ethereum mining pool. So as you could see, I have five GPUs, uh, Zotac, Nvidia, RTX 3060 and then 2060 and three uh, 1660 supers. And you could also see the individual hash rates they are giving. The, 3060 is uh, giving 49.44 mega hashes per second. The 2060 is giving 31 mega hash per second. Uh, the Asus 1660 Super is giving 31, similar to the 2060. And the colorful 1660 Super is giving 29. And finally, the other Asus 1660 Super is giving 27. Now, I know that this last GPU, the 1660 Super, the Asus 1660 Super is not performing it's maximum uh, but I did try to overclock it with different settings and it did not work like it kept crashing so I guess that's okay uh, 27 is fine for me I don't want to like uh, damage my GPUs or anything and actually when I first built and booted up my mining rig I was able to only uh, mine with four GPUs the fifth GPU uh, was not detected and I was able to fix that fortunately by uh, tweaking some BIOS settings in my motherboard's uh, BIOS menu. Okay, so the total hash rate as you could see is around 170 mega hashes per second. Now we're going to talk about how much profit this will generate uh, soon. But before that, uh, let us also talk about the temperatures and the power consumption. You can see the temperature of all the graphic cards are not exceeding 60 degrees uh, Celsius which is great that is awesome because usually when you are mining with your GPUs the temperatures obviously go up because there's a lot of load on your GPUs but I managed to like keep the temperatures down I don't even have like external fans for it I just have an AC in my room so I was able to maintain my room temperature my room temperature right now is like 28 27 28 degrees Celsius and yeah i think that plays a major role you could see uh, all the temperatures are in green which means they are in the safe mode the safe state and the power consumptions you could see that the 3060 is consuming 123 watts 2060 is also consuming 123 watts and all the three 1660 supers are consuming 
82 to 84 watts so the total power consumption is 494 watts now i know what you're thinking the total power capacity of my mining rig is 1300 watts because i installed 2650 watts but it is only consuming 494 let's let's say 500 watts maximum then why did i buy two 650 watts like only one 650 watts is enough it, sh it is more than enough because the total power consumption is 500 watts right well um i just want to be on the safer side now this 494 watts is only for the five gpus there are other components as well in the mining rig like the motherboard the cpu the ssd uh, and these also obviously do consider a certain amount of power and uh, it's definitely going to be more than 500 watts and also if for example my overclock settings uh, did get reset for some reason uh, it, that means that the graphic cards are going to consume a lot more power than what is shown here for example the tdp of 3060 is around 180 watts so that is like the average power it would consume if my overclock settings were not applied so that means 650 1650 watt power supply is definitely definitely not enough it's going to definitely damage my components my graphic cards my cpu uh, and all the other components as well because if they don't get enough power obviously they're going to get damaged so that's why i'm go i'm going with 2650 watts now i don't think 1300 watts is necessary obviously 1000 watts is like the most you need it's 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 more than you need but i went for 1300 watts because as i said earlier i was getting them for a cheaper price as compared to the 1000 watts power supply so i just bought those 2650 watts but anyway having more uh, power capacity is not bad it's always good all right so now let us look at the profitability of this mining rig so i'm going to go to what to mine.com uh, and if you don't know what to mine it's, it's 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 a it's a web app you can use to like find out the profitability uh, of your mining rig uh, over here i'm going to uh, give the total amount of hash rate that i'm getting which is 170 and if i click calculate uh that is going to give me the best coins uh i mean the most profitable coins available for me to mine and obviously the first coin that is the most profitable is ethereum and you could see that the profit for each day is around 10.53 um excluding uh the electricity charges right so 10.53 how much is that in uh, in inr let me 10.53 right yeah 10.53 and that's around like 770 so according to what to mine.com my mining rig is going to make uh, 770 rupees on an average per each day but obviously this is very very volatile because you know that ethereum's price keeps going up sometimes it, it falls down so you never know obviously the uh, profitability depends on the current ethereum market price and right now ethereum is not really in that good state but in the future the price may go up or it may even go down and if the price goes up obviously my profitability increases and if the price goes down my profitability decreases and it also depends on the uh, difficulty uh, of the ethereum network so basically this difficulty uh, depends on how many ethereum blocks are being mined in a, in each hour so if the number of blocks mined in an hour are more then the difficulty will increase and same way vice versa if the number of blocks mined in an hour goes down the uh, network difficulty also goes down and hence we will be able to mine more more ethereum so that's about it ten dollars each day that's the profit we are getting but let me also show you like something like a real-time uh, profitability so as i said i was uh, using ether mine to mine it and this is my uh page where i can see the my mining rig status actually the current hash rate is 179 i don't know how it came to 179 like the most it went is 170 but i don't understand why it is reporting 179 so i actually started it today is uh, 12th of june so i started mining on 11th of june at around 6 pm uh, 6 pm to 6 30 pm uh, something like that 12th june it's around 10 pm uh, and 
look at how much ethereum i made until now so you could see this is the unpaid balance which means this is the amount of ethereum i earned uh, in in one day so it's around 0.00544 if i convert it to usd you can see i made around 13 uh, us dollars in one day and this actually matches the results that what to mine gave us because what to mine actually predicted that we would be able to make 10.53 dollars every day and uh, the real time profit i mean the real time earnings we have is 13 so if you like deduct the power charges from it i think it will be around 10 dollars so yeah that's all about my first ever mining rig build and i hope you like this video i know that this is a very different kind of video uh, than the ones that i usually make on this channel but since many people asked me to make a video on it i'm making a video on it and uh, one more thing i know i've been like very inactive on youtube and uh, i get it i know it uh, but yeah, I am actually working on a few new videos and they'll be coming up soon. And I'll try my best to like make content more often. I know I keep saying this, but it's just, it's hard. <laughs> you know, you know the troubles I've been facing from YouTube. So yeah, thanks for watching this video and I hope you like it. If you did like it, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up below and also tell me in the comment section what you think about my mining rig. If, tell me if I made any mistakes or anything and I'm open to suggestions, I'm open to feedback. So make sure you comment in the comment section below. So I will see you in the next video. Until then, cheers.